Hey and welcome team. Today we're going to be looking at factorising quadrat quadratics, types 1 and 2. There will be a worksheet for you. I just wanted to say at the outset I'm really sorry that I can't be with you. As I mentioned in the message that I sent on Thinkwave, uh, this is not a decision uh, that I have made. It's a decision that our government has made. I think it's an unjust one. It's a, a decision that unvaccinated teachers are not allowed to be in at school uh, to teach their students. This is uh, going to mean the loss of thousands of jobs around the country for teachers, healthcare workers, prison workers and others who at this time do not feel comfortable uh, with the COVID-19 uh, Pfizer vaccination. So I'd love to be with you. It's out of my hands at the moment. Okay, well, let's talk about quadratics types one and two. You've got a worksheet on this and the, the two types that we're looking at today, can, you can uh, think of them as for example, something like x squared plus bx plus c, you'll notice that you've got uh, this b. This b just essentially means um, a, a number, right? It's a variable. Um, oh, sorry, a constant. Um, so it could be like a 4 or an 8 or whatever. Okay, and then c. Uh, so um, just another number at the end there. Now, what the, the important thing about this type, the way you identify it, is if you've got these two pluses. A plus here and a plus there. Now, what we do uh, to... to is we need to think about well, how do we get this result in the first place and remember we've got FOIL so I'll give you an example um, of a quadratic of this type um, okay now when we use FOIL on this we've got F for firsts and that will give us x squared. Then we use outers, which will give us x plus x. Then we use inners, which will give us plus 3x. And then we will use uh, lasts, which is the 3 and the 1, which will give us plus 3. Now what you will see is that the x squared is made up of the firsts. So that's made up of firsts, right, x times x. Um, and this here, we could simplify this bit here to um, 4x. And the x term is made up of your uh, outers and your inners. So this is OI. And then the 3 is made up of your lasts. So that's, that's how we uh, get uh, x squared plus 4x plus 3 by expanding. Now let's just go backwards and see if we can work out how we get from this to that. Okay, so I'm going to rub this out because I don't want to run out of room here. <clears throat> so here's our example of type 1, x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now, we immediately can write our brackets, we can go x uh, plus x plus, okay? When you've got a plus here and a plus here, you know that the, in both brackets you're going to have an x plus and an x plus. That's the rule. X uh, plus here, plus here, we're going to have a plus there and a plus there. Okay. Now, how do we get this last number here? Well, it's this times this. So all you need to do is figure out what are the factors of 3. Well, 1 times 3, and that's it. So we know straight away that we've got a 1 here and a 3 here. And what you'll find is that these two numbers here should add up to that number there. Positive 1, positive 3, positive 4. Perfect. Let me give you another example. Let's say we've got something like x squared plus... Um, let's see... 5x plus 6. 
You see that it's type 1 because we've got a plus and a plus, a plus 5x and a plus 6, so it's type 1, which means we know straight away that it's x plus something in a bracket and then x plus something else in a bracket, right? And then we think about 6. Well, what are the factors of 6? Well, you've got 1 times 6 and you've got 2 times 3. Uh, now, which pair adds to 5? Well, positive 1 and positive 6 is 7, so it's not that one. Positive 2 and positive 3, they add to 5. So, we're going to have uh, 2 and 3. That will give us a 6 at the end, and we've got 3x for outers, and 2x for inners, and together they add to the 5x. And that would be that one factorised. Allow me to give you one more uh, before you get into the worksheet and do this section. Let's say we've got something like this, x squared uh, plus uh, 14x plus 24. Now we see, first of all, plus plus, this must mean that it is type 1, which means that we're going to have x plus something and x plus something. Okay. Now, we look at the factors of 24. What are the factors of 24? Well, we've got uh, 1 and uh, 24. We've got 2 and 12. We've got 3 and 8. And we've got 4 and 6. And we've got to find a factor pair where they're both positive and they add to 14. 1 and 24 is 25. 2 and 12 looks to be it. 2 plus 12 is 14. So we're going to go x plus 2, x plus 12. Outers, 12x, inners, 2x, 12x and 2x is 14x, and then 2 times 12 is 24, so we've factorised that one. So I hope that makes sense to you. Now we're moving on to type 2. Now the important thing to notice about type 2 is that we have a minus in front of the bx and a plus in front of the c, so it goes minus plus, minus plus. Type 1, plus plus. Type 2, minus plus. Okay, so let me give you an example of how this works. Let's think about FOIL. How can we get a plus with our last number? Well, one of the ways you've seen is if you had something like this. We get 3 times 2 is positive 6. Okay, but if we have two positives here, there's no way we can get a negative when we add those numbers together because uh, 2x plus 3x is 5x. But another way that we can get a positive number at the end is if our two brackets have negatives in them. So that negative 3, when we do lasts from FOIL, lasts, negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. So when you have a minus and a plus in the x squared minus bx plus c, that means when you factorise, you're going to have two brackets with a minus in the middle. So minus bx plus c leads to two minuses in the brackets. Okay, that's, it. that's the rule that you need to remember for this. Minus plus, double minus when you factorise. Hope that makes sense. Uh, okay. So let's work this one out. What do we get? Well, we'd get, when we expand it, the first is x times x, x squared, um, O for outers, uh, x times minus 2x is minus 2x, inners, minus 3 times x is minus 3x, and then minus 3 times minus 2 is positive 6. So all together we get x squared minus 5x plus 6, and you can see we've got positive here, and a minus here, just as we, uh, just as I, I said we would. Okay, now we're going to do a couple of those, and then we will, uh, well, then I will leave you to try some practice. Okay, let me say, let's say we've got something like this one: x squared uh, minus six x plus eight. So what we look at, we, we've got a minus, then a plus, so minus bx plus c. So that tells us straight away that we are going to have a situation where we've got a x uh, minus something and x minus something. Now, 
what we do again is we look at this last number here and think about all of the factors. Well, obviously you've got um, 1 and 8, so minus 1, minus 8, but that adds to minus 9, so that's not going to work for us. Uh, then we've got minus 2 and minus 4. Minus 2 and minus 4, that adds to minus 6. So um, there we go, minus 2, minus 4, and that would be this one factorised. Let me give you one more. Let's say we've got one that's like this. x squared uh, minus, let's see, um, 7x plus 12. Okay, so we know because we've got a minus bx plus c that we're going to have two brackets with x minus in them. And we know that the, these two here must multiply to make positive 12. So we think of our factors of positive 12, um, and they've both got to be minus, so we could have minus 1, minus 12. But I immediately know that that's not going to work, because I need them to add to minus 7, and minus 1 plus minus 12 is actually minus 13, so we can ignore that one. The next one, minus 2, minus 6, that multiplies to make um, 12, doesn't it? But they add to minus 8, so that's not going to work. Uh, what about minus 3 times minus 4? That multiplies to make positive 12, and it adds to make uh, negative 7, so that will be our factors that we need. x squared, outers, x times minus 4 is minus 4x, and is minus 3 times x is minus 3x, add them together you get minus 7x, minus 3 times minus 4 is 12, a positive 12. So there you have it, two different uh, types of quadratic that we can now factorise. The type where we've got a positive bx and a positive uh, c, we know straight away that we've got x plus something bracket, x plus something, so two positives in the brackets. Type 2, when we've got a minus bx and a plus c, that means we've got x minus something, x minus something. Well, now you've got t some time to go through the worksheet that I've given you. If you are having any difficulties with this, of course, let me know on the email. Um, that I sent through on ThinkWave, you can email me directly and I will answer your questions. Or if you're really, really stuck and you want to catch up for a tutorial after school, um, outside of school grounds of course, because I'd be a criminal to come into school, um, just let me know. We can either arrange something in person um, or we can do online tutorials as well. Okay, alright guys, miss you. Hopefully I'll be able to be back soon. Keep praying towards that end. Thanks. Bye.